Hey, good weekend, everybody. How are you all doing? We got Lyle here coming to you for my weekend shave. Hope you're safe and hope you're doing well. And I hope you're having great shaves. So for today, I see that this is the birthday of Mr. PAA himself, Douglas Smythe. So I figured I'd do a PAA shave today. So we're going to use Black Bot in the Crown King base, not CK6. Uh, it's a great soap. I really do enjoy it. I love the scent. It is based on the Vintage Lemon Black Bot Cologne. Um, same company, I believe, that brought, brought us um, High Karate, I think it was. I could be wrong. Uh, but I really enjoy it. It's one of my favorites from uh, PAA. Uh, as you can see, I've already started for you guys today. La lather is going here. And because we're doing a PAA shave, I think it's only fitting that we use the cube. 2.0 pre-shave. Thing's huge. Um, really a very good value on this. I think even up here in Canada, this is only somewhere like 10 bucks, something in there. Um, can't remember, could be wrong guys. I'm sorry, it's been a while since I bought that. I don't use pre shaves every shave as you've seen. Only when I really feel like it. I don't think they're a necessity, but sometimes I think they're an added piece of enjoyment. How's that sound? So the Cube 2.0 is based on the Crown King formula. Or Crown CK6, sorry, formula. And you just rub it in like that. Works pretty good. Why not, right? Um, hopefully the color doesn't miss around too much today, you guys. I've changed the lights in here. Still trying to figure that out. I don't know. Um, we'll go from there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So as I said, pre-mixed here in my Thirsty Badger Lathering Bowl. I am using actually today my Phoenix Shaving Starcraft 24 millimeter synthetic. It has a design that is based actually after a Canadian vintage brush, the Mohawk, I think. I forget the model 5432, something like that. I'll post it again for you guys. I know I've done it before, but It is a wonderful looking brush. Sorry about the color, guys. I'm gonna pause this, I'll be right back. Sorry, I'm back. I had the uh, focus and the white balance locked. I wanted to see if it helped. It isn't. <laughs> um, I guess we are going to have to live with it, guys. I, I am sorry about that. One day I'll buy another um, Another camera. Whoops, big bloop right there coming down my chest. So I know most guys talk about Doug's CK6. It's a great base, but I absolutely love even just this Crown King. Uh, even some of his older bases, I think he did great on. The Matt Fran, amazing. So while we're lathering here, and this won't take long, this is pretty much ready to go. Um, just some things in my opinion about Doug. So Doug, if you do see this man, what I would like to say to you is besides happy birthday, um, I want to thank you for all the things you do in the wet shaving world. Uh, you're probably one of the most active uh, artisans that I know of. Between your YouTube channel, your YouTube ventures, you know, uh, I'd rather be shaving, what shavers round table, all that kind of stuff. Um, you're active in the groups. You have your own group on me, we app. You're just, uh, you're very active. Uh, Big Shave West. So I do thank you for that involvement. I also want to thank you for your diversity of scents. Um, I think if you can't find a scent at PAA, that you don't like, you're not looking hard enough. Doesn't take long. Uh, for me, I'm a huge fan of what Douglas and Fran do with the vintage sets. I love how they try to keep them alive, like Black Bot here, um, based on Black Belt. Oh, this is way more than I have to go, guys. <laughs> um, one of my absolute all-time favorites. 
sundown based on Gillette Sun Up. So cold spices based on Shelton Old Spice with some menthol added to it. There's lots you can keep looking diver down. You can go on and on and on. And I really do appreciate that. Because I don't think there these were sets I'd never would have got to try myself without that. So thank you for that duck. So as you can see, it makes a very beautiful lather. Um, takes water like a dream. So it's a good base. I mean, Crown King's been along for a long, around for a long time. It's tied, trust, tied, tested. Oh my God, I can't speak, guys. Tried, tested, and true. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's just that he does a lot of great work. So thank you. Today we are going to use it's a Ken Folks USA Blue Steel Special uh, 5 8 round tip. Um, I've honed this myself, and I'm going to do this edge test today. So let's see how it goes. I redid it again. So far, I'm happy with that. <laughs> uh, uh, pretty darn smooth. Obviously, sharp, more than sharp enough to cut the hairs there. So far, it's, that's a win. I spent the last couple of days actually. Um, Spent quite a bit of time on the stones comparatively to what I have been. It's something I really have to get back into. I do a lot of horning talks here with my buddy Magic Mike. I just haven't, and Phil Wet Shaves, actually both on Instagram. I just haven't been that active on the stones. And Mike's really got his, uh, skill and edge down. You'll probably see lots of guys talking about the Magic Edge. That's Mike. Once again, that was my backup razor for today. If uh, my blade with the magic edge, in case this didn't go too well. <laughs> um, but he's deserving of all the accolades he gets. But this is coming out really nice. And anyways, what I was going to is, I'm really enjoying being back on the stones. I found it very calming, very soothing, uh, almost ther uh, therapeutic. Therapeutic. I can't speak, guys. I'm sorry. I am by no means a speed demon on the stones. You know, on average, I take probably one to two hours per razor right now, depending on how it goes. So this one I'd honed before and the bevel was fine. Uh, I just wanted to try to improve it. So I took it on my 3K Sigma Synthetic and then I went to my JNAT progression. Um, Some guys think I'm crazy going right from a 3K to a JNAT progression, but it seems to work. And maybe having a five or eight in the middle might help smooth it out a bit, but so far there's no, uh, no I find no issues with it if I don't screw up. <laughs> so I can put a picture up of the stuff I have if you guys like my JNAT. It's just a, I call it a baby rocket. It's not a full bench. Um, it's a little six inch by two and a quarter wide by about an inch thick Shobanani. Um, and when I'm on it, I use the Botan, the Tinju, the Miru, the Koma, the Toma. And then I do running water uh, also, just with the blade on those. So that's kind of what I do to get to my edges. Takes me a little while, but I do enjoy it. So that went very well. Um, I'm very happy so far with how that's going. The blade performed great, um, as expected, the soap provides more than adequate slickness and protection. 
and the scent is lovely. I'll put up the scent notes for you guys. I have a Douglas scent description. Um, actually, I'll probably put the full scent description in the description of this video before or below. Sorry, because Douglas likes to go on nice stories usually. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll put that there so you guys can really get what Doug is talking about. To me, it's just a nice, manly, darker scent, vintage vibe. I um, don't know how to accurately describe this. So you can hear my family in the room next door. Uh, my wife started playing uh, Animal Crossing on the Nintendo today with my kids. The kids have been playing it a long time. She was just trying to get into it to see what it was about. And they found out Mom was on it. So they're all down here playing with her. See, I had a lot of fun uh, yesterday. Excuse me, on the night before, uh, honing. I was on some uh, messenger rooms and chats with Magic Mike, Phil, some other guys doing it. Um, Friday night. I honed up a razor for a buddy. He got to give it to him for free. Was obviously not shave ready. It's a BOG tactical combat razor. Really looks like a gold dollar, kind of relabeled. It's all paint, painted black, uh, black metal scales. The blade is all painted black. Um, you want to know if I can get it shaving for him? I told him I'd try. Um, when I looked at the shave angles of that one, as a full hollow, I actually have to call Magic Mike. Because, like, dude, am I doing this right? Like, this angle seems way off. But he confirmed we were like 20 degrees. Um, my buddy really wanted to try to save the paint for the look aesthetics if we could. So we put one layer of tape on it and I went to town. And it was like almost 21 degrees, I think 20 and a half, 23 quarters, I can't remember. But I used it yesterday in a live in Canadian wet shavers. And that thing shocked me. I did not expect it to shave. I did not expect it to do anything. And I got a nice DFS plus, what I'll call. So it was very smooth, very close. I mean, the shave lasted me all day, no problems. Um, better than any shave I ever got with a cart myself anyways no nicks no reapers and i was i was floored i was almost speechless i would actually it came out that good and then after that i honed up this one right here and i also did a h boker five eighths you've seen me use it on here before uh, square tip. I'm trying to get to a point that I'm happy with it so I can send it to a buddy. And I really gotta get back on that so I can get it out to him so he can start trying to learn straight racers. That being said, I'll talk to him. A hollow point may not, or a full point might not be what he's interested in. I might send him this one. We'll see. Um, so everything's going great so far. That first swipe on against the grain felt really good. more than sharp enough it's maybe a little rough maybe not quite as smooth as I'd like but it's not bad
Wow. Feels great. And again, guys, I want to apologize to you about the color. I see it going in and out. Uh, maybe I'm standing too close. I, I don't know. I'm really sorry about that. It drives me insane. I do appreciate you guys sticking with my videos. Um, I'm sure it's got to bother you guys too. So, that wasn't bad. Not bad. Struggled a little bit right there. So I don't have a microscope or anything that I look at my edges underneath uh, underneath for. I do have a loop. That's better. Um, I only use it when I really think I have a problem. I like to figure out my edges based off feel. Uh, feel, sorry, not how they look. I'm worried if I spend too much time worried about how the edges look. Yeah, I can wreck a really good edge. It just performs great and not look as good as I like it to. And quite frankly, if people are using, happen to be using edges that I'm making, they're not putting it underneath the microscope, right? They're wondering about how it feels on the face. So I got a big sore there, guys. Sorry about it. It's like a vitamin deficiency thing. It's not a cold sore. That's going pretty well, though. I'm pretty impressed. There we go. So for sake of time, guys, I'm going to do my cleanup swipes just on my jaw here and do my warm rinse and cold rinse, and I'll be back to see for the pull shave. All right, I'm back. So I did my cleanup swipes, like I said, hot rinse, cool rinse, uh, clean everything up, give them time for this to dry a little bit. Face feels good. It's a DFS, near and BBS, so it's a great shave. I'm very happy with it. Um, for the post, of course, we're going to use the matching aftershave cologne from PAA. Make sure you give these guys a good, good, good shake. Uh, they are alcohol based, so if you don't like the burn, probably don't get one of these. <laughs> now, it does have this gloss built in restrictor. I know lots of guys bitch about it. Um, kind of what I've learned put your finger over it. Your thumb, turn it completely upside down, none comes out. Give it a couple shakes, then you start coming out. Cork it, bring it back. Like an old school unit, and it works great. So I wait a few seconds, let some of the alcohol evaporate, and I put it on my skin. I think I actually saw that tip from the dog. I can't remember where though, but it could be. It's a very little sting, just the alcohol burn. Scent strength on it is very strong. Now again, they call that an aftershave cologne. Um, ingredients I'll put up. These new ones don't have the alum in it, like his old formula, I guess, before these type of bottles, which is good for me. Uh, I always like to splash this, except for the alum. Even alum just make me burn, so. And to finish this off, 
My buddy, Jared, actually the owner of Thirsty Badger, was lucky enough to get a full vintage bottle of the Lemming Black Bell. Unopened, unsealed, and he knew how much he, I loved it, so he sent me some. So we're going to spray up with this, guys. Oh, yeah. <sighs> the stink is real. <laughs> My wife probably won't be around me for about half an hour until I calms down a bit. But anyways, overall, the shade was great. I really enjoyed it. Um, the edge was good. Not great. I think I can improve it some more. Uh, but it did the job. It may be just a little harsh. I may have to try to smooth it out a little bit. And so let's do the review, guys. PA Black Bot. Crown King Base match and splash and you just saw me you also use some of the original cologne that that's based off of I use the PAA Starling 24 millimeter beautiful synthetic brush thirsty badger badger bowl um, almost forgot sorry started it all off with the PAA cube 2.0 uh, as always you guys see me show you but my Star Wars coffee mug stormtrooper for the water and of course i gotta make sure i get this name right but the kin folks usa 5 8 blue steel special full hollow my edge on it pretty good um, i'll try to improve <laughs> though but more than good enough to get the job done i don't see oh maybe a weeper there there we go not bad though uh so i just want to say here again happy birthday doug thank you for everything you do in the community I uh, make great products. I do enjoy them. Uh, I wish they were a little more affordable up here in Canada. Exchange rate kills us. <laughs> and past that, I noticed I'm getting close to 400 subscribers. Uh, I want to thank you all for your support. I know I only put up once a week. Uh, it's really all I have the time to do, unfortunately, being a family man, working full time. Excuses, excuses. But I do appreciate you guys who take the time to subscribe to my channel, take the time to watch my videos, and comment on my videos. So thank you guys very much. Pass out, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful upcoming week. I hope to see you again next weekend. Happy shaving, everyone. <laughs>